Welcome back to my channel, folks. What you got there? What you got there? What you got there? Thank you for tuning back in. Thank you for, you know, sticking with me. Thank you for being patient. I know I haven't been making videos for a while because I've been busy. And thanks to those who've been subscribing. And thanks for the new subscribers. And thanks for the people that are watching now. But this is, video is going to be about crypto and it's a website that everybody probably knows about which is gemini and when it's known for uh i wasn't believing a reviews about this website but in 2019 that's when i started my investment so i've been investing with them for a long time and i can tell you this it turned out to be a bad experience so let me explain to you what went on and why you should not sign up with this website and if you have crypto in your portfolio in their account i'm telling you right now you might want to move it to somewhere else because you're about to find out because it happened to me now if you got gemini was right here if you got this this website you might want to like stay away from and i'm gonna explain to you the reason why it's because this website Okay, Gemini is a website that actually, they act like they care, but they don't. I'm going to explain to you the reason why they don't, because they don't have no customer service, so you don't can't talk to a real person, and I didn't know that until, like, after this stuff happened to me. So, when this happened to me, and I got this email from, uh, Gemini explaining saying well we've been hacked so I'm calling the number because like I told you I didn't know they didn't have no customer service number so the person I'm talking to and they you know they say yeah this is a security alert because they've been hacked or whatever and I said oh yeah and they said well we send an email to everybody and we just making sure that everything is functioning right on your account and your portfolio or whatever so they said well right now you roughly have this much and they knew how much crypto i have and everything like that and they said well you your last trans two trans um two transactions that i made which that i did on gemini they said well gemini didn't give me all my crypto for my last two my last two transactions because what happened during a hack time so they had me download this third party app and when I did or whatever, they was like already into my uh, account. So when I logged in on my uh, phone or whatever, um, they was telling me that uh, they're just making sure that everything functional, right? So when they was going through all my stuff or whatever, they say, well, we're going to credit you back for the last two transactions you made, which that really did make two transactions. So they say, well, call back within 10 minutes if you don't see the last trans the last two transactions appear on your account. So I didn't wait 10 minutes, you know. I instead, I waited till like almost five minutes and I kept on checking my account. And when I looked at my account, I noticed my crypto was gone. So when I, you know, uh, emailed Gemini. Oh, I called that number back first, and I noticed that nobody was answering at that number. So I emailed what I seen on Gemini website from the email. So they emailed me back, and it was funny because they froze my account, and then they emailed me back. And when they emailed me back, it was telling me why they froze my account, but it wasn't telling me what happened. So when I explained to them what happened, you had to send in all this information or proving who you are and I did all that stuff so I told them that there was a person that withdrew my uh crypto into another account that was actually not even on my portfolio so they knew it was a hacker they knew I was hacked and they don't want to take responsibility for that because they feel that it wasn't a you know the problem which it was because it was an email that literally came from their website I mean from their uh yeah, from their website, and not even that, um, they shouldn't be able, somebody shouldn't be able to, to withdraw my crypto into another platform or to another account whatsoever without being verified, especially with an account that's not even on there. So all of that stuff didn't make no sense. So they, like I said, they froze my profile or whatever, my account. So if you don't have to, you don't believe me, 
you can see for yourself if you go on the reviews, like for example, the BBB, and there's three uh, major alerts on here, which is you see right here in the corner. And if you click on them, it'll bring you to this and it shows you that they have defrauded investors, okay? Even with their loan programs, it's showing you how their sales tactics were, okay? And then down here at the bottom, it shows a pattern of complaints on people accounts getting frozen, stuff they can't um, transfer or withdraw, and all these other complaints, you know what I mean? Delays, there's so much stuff, so you could go read it yourself about all these complaints. So this is from the BBB itself showing you that this place been, you know, rated F because you know what the experience that everybody been having so you can see it for yourself so if you go read everybody's review on her you will see that a lot of people crypto got stolen or they can't or the uh gemini froze their account or something they can't withdraw their money and these are people that have been with them for years too so even if you go to trust pilot you will see on trust pilot the same thing is that this company got nothing about bad reviews so I advise you to stay away from Gemini. Stay away from this. And if you got crypto in here, get your crypto out and move it to somewhere else because you're going to eventually go through it too one day and you're going to be mad. So I'm telling you from an experience that I have because I wasn't believing in these reviews on the websites I was reading for years. And I thought all this was a joke until it really happened to me. So right now, I reported, you know, Gemini to the FTC, the BBB, the FBI, um, the um, the uh, the uh, office uh, attorney general of like my state. You could do the same. You know what I mean? And I'm telling you, if you had any problems with this company, you know, go fill these complaints out because, you know, this company should be held accountable for the stuff that's happening. And they letting people crypto get stolen from them and they're not taking responsibility for this because their uh security system is lacking so i'm telling you right now to stay away from them because right now i'm still trying to fight at least get my m money back what it was worth at the time or my crypto loan but they said once it been put into into the uh the block whatever the transaction block or the trade block or whatever they said there's no way we could recover your all right if you can't recover it well give me the money back that was worth at that time it only makes sense because this would never happen if your software if your uh yeah if your software wasn't that vulnerable to hackers like that and it wasn't that easy so they're not taking responsibility and it shows you they you know they got in trouble for a lot of things they have done before in the past and if you look at the reviews and it shows you that there's 500, 591 complaints and 135 complaints. So it shows you like this stuff is continuing going on and on and on and on. And somebody need to do something about this, you know. So I'm telling you right now, you know, share this with other people, you know, please subscribe, you know. And this is very important. You know, this is about your future. This is about your life savings. And if you're putting your money into this and you got crypto in here, I'm telling you, take it out. Go somewhere else and don't sign up with them. You'll make a mistake. And you could do this yourself. Go on their thing and their website. And for both of they really don't have no customer service number. And their emails, when they email you back, oh, I'm letting you know, they email you every three days to five days back. So you don't get emails back constantly. So that's another thing. And the crazy thing about it, the website that I actually got the number from, they actually unfroze my account when the website got taken down. So don't that seem like Gemini is playing the game with these hackers? Like it's very like it's suspicious right there. It's very suspicious for them to actually unfreeze my account after when the other website got taken down. That just was so suspicious. So anyways, if you got, like I said, is stay away from them, you know, stay away from this website. So, and like I told people is you don't have to believe me, do your research yourself, you know, and that's about it. And I'm gonna leave it as that. So, you know, we'll make another video soon, but thanks for those who tune in and thanks for those who've been subscribing and 
stay safe, stay healthy, and watch what you put your money into. What you got there, what you got there, what you got there.